Hey everyone. So in the previous video, we have covered about mouse over and using mouse over using the trigger method, which is the default method available within Cypress. But not necessarily this trigger method is going to work. So we have used invoke method to show the menu items. And then if say, for example, I do not want to even show the menu items, I can still force click on any of the menu items. Okay. So I have covered multiple options, but then if we go to the documentation of Cypress, you will see multiple this plugins option there. Okay. And if you scroll down, you will see that many community plugins are available in Cypress. All right. For example, handling iframe, handling drag and drop, or even mouse events. Okay. So if I simply search for mouse, okay, or simply search real events, okay real okay so you'll see real cypress real event now this plugin will fire native system events from cypress like hover swipe etc so all of this can be performed with these plugins and i highly recommend that instead of doing everything from ground up use the plugin right because the end goal is to do things quickly and if there is a functionality that is being developed and available by the community use that plugin and do the events right so basically if you'll see we go to the documentation you have to basically install it okay so how you can use it you can say dot get and then real click or real mouse down real mouse up okay simply get the web element and say real mouse up and mouse down and instead of trigger this is definitely going to perform much better okay so what we have to do is first thing we have to install this package okay so if you are using node package manager right which we have already used so i'll simply copy and install it okay so let me go here and i'll simply close this app first and go to the terminal and terminal and simply so i'm already in this project right so i'll simply install cypress real, real event you'll see the installation has already started okay and it has added one package all right and this is installed now so if we go to the documentation so we have already installed now simply what we have to do is we have to register new commands by adding this to the index file all right so we simply say import cypress real events okay or simply copy it and let me go to the project so it is in the support folder so simply we have to go to the command.js all right and this is where we have to import right so here they are saying in the index but now it is the latest version so we have this command.js and this should be fine as well okay and here we can simply say import cypress real event or we can say require Cypress real event. All right, so we'll simply say require. So it will add that particular dependency. So require Cypress real and I'll save it. So now this will be available. So if I have to go ahead and use it, so I'll simply use this mouse over and paste it here and I'll say using real event. So I'll rename this file. I'll say mouse over real events enter and let's uh, let us change few things here okay so now we are not going to use this invoke method all right let's first use the real event so what we were doing we were i'll uncomment this method here and instead of trigger i'll simply say dot real okay and you will see all the methods that are there in this particular plugin are available so i'll say real mouse okay i'll say real mouse let's see if we have this real mouse over or there is something else so real mouse hover okay so they have not over it's real hover so i have to make sure that i use real mouse hover so real and that should be it okay so if i simply save it let's go back and execute this particular test and see that the mouse over happens really or not so we have this mouse over real events I have clicked it let's see it will open the yatra and should trigger the real mouse you'll see that automatically without any issues with trigger we were having so many issues right so this mouse over successfully happened and you will see with real with real hover i can easily get what exactly was not possible with the trigger method okay so this is basically how you are going to use this particular play, uh, plugin or any sort of plugin right and you will see if i go here you will see real hover real click real press real touch all right so 
real mouse down mouse up so i can now use this okay so i can simply use this particular plugin and instead of the default methods that might break these are the plugins that are available that will make sure that your events or mouse events are handled in much robust okay so this is about mouse over using the cypress Re real events plugin all right so that's all for this video and i'll be covering a lot more plugins and different options to handle certain elements so in the real project in your real time project and i'm using the real applications right so this is the real application if you are able to handle these sort of applications any real time project will be of similar complexity so you'll be absolutely fine in that particular sense okay so that's all for this video see you in the next thank you